Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this text writing box effect is done entirely using After Effects. No plugins, no expressions, nothing. This is just After Effects. Not only you will learn how to create this effect, but also I will show you how you can save this as an animation preset which you can apply with just a click. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this one main. Width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now we have to create our text. So for that you can select the text tool and just click and you can type whatever you want. For now I'm going to type hello and let me just quickly set this to 100. So here we have our text. Perfect. So you can just align it wherever you want and you can change its font to whatever you like. I'm using this Montserrat semi bold font, but it's completely up to you. You can pick whatever you want. Now, once you have your text, we are ready to apply some effects. So first I'm going to search for fill and let's drag it over here. And it's completely up to you. You can leave the color whatever you want. So next effect is shift channels. So let's search for it and let's drag it over here. And I'm going to change this value from take alpha from to full on like this. So now you can see we are able to see the square and on top of this we are going to apply cc repetile effect let's drag it over here now we basically want this like box to be expanded so for that we can use this and you can just set the amount to whatever you want so if i set this to you can see that it will increase the padding around the box to however you want so for this one i'm going to set all of these to 90 from top like right left bottom all of these will be set to 90 but again it's completely up to you can just lower it down to or expand it however you want so for now let's keep them at 90. now we're not able to see our text so in order to bring it back we can apply cc composite effect and let's drag it over here now you can see it will make our text appear now we are pretty much done with the box so if i select the text and i can type whatever you want and here you can see that our box will expand as we are typing more and more characters like this but we also want this to have like little bit of rounded edges so if you want to go with that you can apply simple choker effect let's drag it over here and over here i'm going to change the choke mat value to 100 now this value will define the angle of the roundness so if i set this to let's say 50 now i'm going to drag one more simple choker effect and instead of 50 i'm going to set this to negative 50 like that so this way you will have rounded corners now if you want to have more roundness then you can just increase this value so i'm going to set this to 100 and this one i'm going to set this to negative 100 like that now if you want to do it like more then you can see that this value won't increase further than 100 but there is one more thing we can do so i'm going to select both of these and we can press ctrl d to duplicate these now you can see that we have more rounded corners which is exactly what we want perfect so here we have everything right in front of us now our next step is to add some colors to it to make it really nice so for that i'm going to search for four color gradient so let's try four and we have the four color gradient now i can drag it over here now it will make everything disappear so we can play around with its order so i'm going to just place it like right after the cc repetile effect like that the order is very important because if you place it at wrong places you can see that it will not make if any changes so i'm going to just place it right after the cc repetile effect like that now we can play around with the colors so first i'm going to like set these colors to like really dark this one we can just set this to very dark of this sort of and now you can play around with their positions as well let's place it somewhere around here this one to this side and this one we can leave it to pink and this one we can make it a little bit of cyan sort of thing like that you can play around with their positions like if you want to have more highlights like this again it's completely up to you but i want like very subtle colors so i'm going to place these like somewhere around here so before we proceed if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue right so once you're done with this we are ready to animate our text and we are ready to apply the text on effect so it's actually quite easy now you can go to the effects and preset panel now i can search for typewriter effect now you will get two typewriter effects if you're using the older versions then you will only have one which is this one but if you're using the newer versions then you will have this blinking cursor typewriter console now i can just simply drag it and just apply it onto this now you can see that if i press play you can see that it will automatically start typing our text and we will have all the animations already applied now i can just select this layer and let's press u 
So here you can see we have the keyframes. Now I can move these keyframes further apart to make the typewriting effect very slow. So now if I press play, you can see that it will start typing individually, like one letter after other. But if you want to have it like very fast, then you can move these closer like this. Now after that, you can just simply type whatever you want. Let's type after effects 2024. Again, it's completely up to you. you can pick whatever colors you want. You can like have whatever font you want. You can play around with these colors as well to make this like very subtle. And the best thing is that if you want to change the text, then you can just simply select this. You can make it smaller or larger, however you want, and the box will act according to it. Now we are done with our animation and you can see that we have a bunch of different effects and I'm pretty sure you don't want to do these every time you have to create this box. So the good thing is that we can save it as a preset. So let me show you how to do that. So first I'm going to like expand this and after that I'm going to just click on this text and hold on the control key and just click on the effects so that it will take care of all the expressions which we have over here in this animation preset and all these effects which we have over here. So once you're done with this, we can go to animation. Over here we have this save animation preset. And after that you can just type whatever you want. So you can type rounded text box colorful whatever you want. And after that you can just simply save it. But if you save this like at some other place rather than the default preset folder, then you won't be able to access it through this effects and preset panel. But if you save it like somewhere else, so let's save it on the desktop. So I have already saved this one. Let me just show it out. Now here I have already saved the preset. Now I want to move this to the default location. So for that, I can just simply copy it or cut it wherever you want. And after that, you can go to this directory location. Now this is the default preset location like over here and over here you can just simply paste it and you can see that i've already pasted it over here so here we have our preset now in order to access it all you have to do is just open up after effects so first you save it you have to close the after effects then relaunch it and once you're done with this you can just simply access it by simply going to composition let's create a new composition now you can type whatever you want so let's just type hello and now if you want to apply the preset all you have to do is just simply go to the effects and preset panel and you can just simply search for it like whatever name you have given it so i have given it rounded text box color all you have to do is just drag it over here and here you can see that it has already applied all the animations perfect again you can play around with the timing however you want like that now there is one more thing if you want to have a very nice stroke on the outline then you can do that as well so let me show you how to do it so here we have our animation now in order to add the stroke all you have to do is just simply select this let's pre-compose it and let's call this text or whatever you want to call it just click on ok now once you're done with this we can just select this layer right click go to layer style and here we have this option for stroke now if i click it you can see that it will add the stroke now we can go inside and just play around with the colors however you want so let's make it like very subtle just like that so here we have the stroke and it will change according to our text animation so this is how you can create these kind of advanced text box effects now the project files and this text preset is available on my patreon for download so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one